It's time to take a quick look at these Nike Zoom Hyperflights. This is the 2013 Retro that was $135, and it was the first time that Nike ever retroed the Hyperflight since it originally came out way back in 2001. And surprisingly, when Nike retroed these shoes, they sort of flopped and ended up hitting the Nike outlets. And I think it might have been because of the inflated price. Originally, this shoe came out and was much closer to just the $100 price point. Now, of course, inflation has hit, but I guess people just didn't see themselves paying $135 for this pair of shoes. And actually there was a three pack of Zoom Hyperflights that came out around the same time that were $150 and they were a collaboration with LeBron, Kobe, and Kevin Durant. It was sort of like a superhero pack and those Hyperflights really flopped and ended up hitting the outlets and sitting at the outlets before getting marked down and basically given away. Now, the Hyperflight was a pivotal shoe back in 2001. I wanna break out this book right here. We've looked at it before. Soul Provider by Scoop Jackson. Talks about the first 30 years of Nike basketball, which is 1972 to 2002. And way towards the back in 2001, we've got this page on the Hyperflight. And you can see right here, it says Air Hyperflight 2. But this retro model is just the Zoom Hyperflight. Anyway, this shoe came out in 15 crazy wild colors. I remember when I first saw this ad right here with the orange pair dipped in the paint can, I just thought it was so cool. And look at this, yellow, red, blue. They had crazy ones with like honeycomb graphics on there. I remember when these shoes came out right after the turn of the millennium, and it was like such a big deal because basketball shoes were just not wild and crazy in color like this, or at least like the ones that we just looked at on the ad. Now the Hyperflight was designed by Eric Avar, and his inspiration was actually Bill Bowerman and a track spike. Bill Bowerman passed away in 1999, just two years before the Hyperflight originally launched. And when Avar sat down to design the Hyperflight, he was thinking, what would Bill Bowerman do? How would Bill Bowerman design a basketball shoe? And of course, Bill Bowerman typically designed track spikes. And what Avar came up with was the Hyperflight, which is incredibly lightweight. Like you pick up this shoe and it weighs almost nothing. And that makes sense because Bill Bowerman was notorious for trying to shave the weight down on his shoes as much as possible. With running shoes, he figured if he could cut down the weight just a little bit, it would save his runners having to use so much extra energy to lug around that weight during the course of a race. So that same thing would hold true with a basketball shoe. So when Avar sat down to design the Hyperflight, he wanted it to be as lightweight as possible. Now the Hyperflight was made famous by Jason Williams back in the day. He actually wore a bright purple patent leather pair that matched his Sacramento Kings jersey, probably the most iconic and valuable of all of the original colors of the Hyperflight. But the yellow, the red, the orange, the black, all of them are sick. I'm glad that they retroed them. It was nice to be able to pick them up. I actually have a pair that I wear one of the bummers about wearing Hyperflights is literally as soon as you put them on your feet and take a step, they just start creasing up right here at the toe. And if you try to play a game of basketball in them, it's over, like they'll really crease up and they look terrible. But anyway, it's nice to admire a brand new black patent leather pair right here. It's been a pleasure introducing you to the 2013 Nike Zoom Hyperflight.